we enter once again into a time of prayer. Fixing our hearts and our minds upon God, we bring all our thoughts, our worries, our questions, our gratitude, and lay them at the feet of our Creator. In our prayer lives, we can take inspiration from the Psalms. Ancient songs and petitions, the Psalms connect us with our fellow believers through the ages. They help us give our feelings structure and remind us of the importance and beauty of speaking to God in prayer. As we meditate on the words of Psalm 40, take a moment to pause and reflect. Breathe in slowly and deeply. Breathe out with intention. Feel the Holy Spirit ground you and comfort you. I waited patiently for the Lord to help me, and he turned to me and heard my cry. He lifted me out of the pit of despair, out of the mud and the mire. He set my feet on solid ground and steadied me as I walked along. He has given me a new song to sing, a hymn of praise to our God. Many will see what he has done and be amazed. They will put their trust in the Lord. Gracious God, we put our trust in you. In the midst of the challenges we face, help us to wait patiently upon your timing to pursue your goodness over our own plans. Oh, the joys of those who trust the Lord, who have no confidence in the proud or in those who worship idols. Oh Lord, my God, you have performed many wonders for us. Your plans for us are too numerous to list. You have no equal. If I tried to recite all your wonderful deeds, I would never come to the end of them. Holy Spirit, we thank you for your constant provision. You, God, are with us always, protecting and preserving us. We ruminate on the good you have worked in and through us. Help us to continue to place you at the center of our lives. You take no delight in sacrifices or offerings. Now that you have made me listen, I finally understand. You don't require burnt offerings or sin offerings. Then I said, Look, I have come. As is written about me in the scriptures, I take joy in doing your will, my God. For your instructions are written on my heart. Merciful Creator, you accept us and love us fully as we are. You do not ask us to earn your love. Your grace is unending. Equip us to see ourselves as you see us, as beautiful and worthy of care. Fill our hearts with your joy. I have told all your people about your justice. I have not been afraid to speak out, as you, O Lord, well know. I have not kept the good news of your justice hidden in my heart. I have talked about your faithfulness and saving power. I have told everyone in the great assembly of your unfailing love and faithfulness. Wonderful Counselor, we know that your heart breaks along with ours in the face of injustice. You desire restoration, unity, and shalom. Help us to partner with you in this vision of renewal and be instruments of your goodness. Lord, don't hold back your tender mercies from me. Let your unfailing love and faithfulness always protect me. For troubles surround me, too many to count. My sins pile up so high, I can't see my way out. They outnumber the hairs on my head. 
I have lost all courage. Please, Lord, rescue me. Come quickly, Lord, and help me. May those who try to destroy me be humiliated and put to shame. May those who take delight in my trouble be turned back in disgrace. Let them be horrified by their shame, for they said, Aha! We've got him now. God, cover us in your peace. We look around us and see much to fear, much that is not as it ought to be. In these spaces, help us to lean into you. Comfort and encourage us. Continue your work of redemption and beauty through the world. But may all who search for you be filled with joy and gladness in you. May those who love your salvation repeatedly shout, The Lord is great. As for me, since I am poor and needy, let the Lord keep me in his thoughts. You are my helper and my savior. Oh my God, do not delay. Amen. This guided meditation is presented to you by Alabaster. Learn more at alabasterco.com.